TRX 2.0 skateboard review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on my Lycan TRX 2.0 skateboard. Now, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest reviews I've ever done just because this was pretty much the most I've ever invested in a skateboard. There was a couple situations. I, I take kind of some responsibility for it, a little bit of it, but I ended up losing this deck. I really don't wanna get into it. I don't wanna go any further about it because it's never gonna ever happen again. And I just don't wanna hear anybody's thing like, oh, well, no one's ever gonna take my board like that. I don't wanna hear any of that. And that's probably part of the reason why I didn't wanna make this video because it's just like, oh, it sucks so bad that I just don't, almost don't want to even talk about it. I want to pretend like it didn't happen. However, I really, really, really like this board. I don't know how long I had it, probably three weeks to a month. It was enough to where I feel comfortable doing this review. There was a few things I really wish I could have tested on it before doing this review, but I absolutely loved this board so much and it's so sad that it's gone you know even if i get more boards in the future this board could have been one of my favorites for a long time so anyways real quick i have tried out the x-way atlas two-wheel drive my buddy picked up one of those i've kind of been around him i've ridden it a little bit i've kind of seen what he likes and dislikes about it and then another one of my buddy has a carbon gtr from evolve i think it's like 2017. so these i have tried other at decks out there i do have a little bit of experience with them riding them a little bit but i hearing what my friends say you know seeing the range seeing the top speed i, I am pretty familiar with other high-end boards the worst part about all this right now is that the trx 2.0 is actually gone and they've come out with a trx 3.0 which is actually Actually much worse than the 2.0 the 2.0 had like a 600 and like 18 watt hour battery which is a little higher than the standard right now if you look at the new backfire if you look at the x-way atlas they have about 500 watt hours 510 20 something like that and now with the 3.0 they've lowered the battery size down calling it a 3.0 I'm sure they've had their own issues with you know inventory or whatever's going on it's the 3.0 but it's actually much worse it's got a lower battery and then also it ships with normal street wheels probably to give it better performance because my board the board that i love the board that i cannot buy anymore came with 120 cloud wheels and i'm just a really big fan of cloud wheels because you get the range of a smaller wheel and you get a good mix of all-terrain ability with them i just really like cloud wheels for me, I really wouldn't want to go to AT wheels unless my board was extremely powerful with extremely long range. Most of the time, I just would prefer cloud wheels and that's what came on this board, the 2.0. But now you have to get street wheels. So it has wheels that I don't like, cheaper wheels on it, and it has a lower battery for the same price. No thanks. There is not one board that I wanted for that price besides a Lycon 2.0 and you can't buy it anymore. So that's another just so I was kind of in this initial stage of, I don't really want to risk it. I don't want to risk any you know, falls. I don't want to go too fast. I definitely did test it. Now I'm feeling better. I felt better for like a month or two. I'm ready to test the board. I'm ready to go top speed safely in the right situations and I can't try it out. But this board had insane torque and speed. I let two of my friends ride it, but one of my friends is extremely advanced with all sorts of boarding. And even he didn't try out the top speed. It had more speed than you want, which is just something you kind of want in a high end board at least for me when the boards that i've tried the battery on this thing was unbelievable i would take normal e-skates to where my board would be almost finished or down to one or two bars and i had over half the bars there i mean you just couldn't kill this board it was so amazing and i just went on this group ride to where a lot of us had to turn back because we didn't have enough charge on our board just to be safe when we were getting back and it was like man if i had the dang lichen board i would have been completely fine the battery size was great and i wrote this down when i was first reviewing the board but now the battery size is even more important in my opinion the look of this board i personally really like the look of this board it had carbon fiber it was really sleek it was minimalistic and i just loved 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 the look of the board the lichen logo looks like probably my favorite logo i know a logo doesn't have any performance benefits but i just like the style and look of lichen's lo logo versus pretty much all the other ones the carving feel was so good it's probably those double kingpin trucks but 
it was just such a blast to carve on this thing. I, I loved it. It was just amazing carving, at least for me. I know it could maybe get better, whatever. I just really enjoyed carving on this thing. I know Lycan tees like new style remotes with like different colors and stuff, but I had just the normal like TRX remotes and it lasted much longer than my Backfire remote. So I really did appreciate that because my Backfire remote, you could almost get like maybe one and a half, two full board charges before you need to charge the remote. I think the remote's so small, it'd be nice to get like, you know, at least three full board batteries destroyed before you need to charge the remote. But I really like the remote. And then I'm coming from the Backfire G3 and this had much better brakes than the Backfire. Um, Backfire, I absolutely love Backfire. But the one issue that I would say is that the brakes aren't as sharp and when you're going really, really fast or you're going downhill, the backfire, it wouldn't ever fully stop. So if you were on a hill and you're going, looking down the hill and you're hitting the brakes, like you're gonna move for sure. It's not gonna stop. It's just gonna slow it down so you could almost jump off in an emergency. But when you're going fast, you need certain good brakes and I found the brakes to be okay here. Maybe they could have been a little bit better, but I liked them more than the G3. This is a standard on all new boards, but the one click ignition is so nice. You have your remote, you turn the remote on, the board turns on. You turn your remote off, the board turns off. Should be on every board. I don't know why it's not, but it's so nice. Not having to, you know, go down or flip it over or do anything extra, it just works. The motor guard, I really like the motor guard on here. I know some of the newer boards are doing it, but I know a lot of older boards and a lot of other boards that I've seen do not have this motor guard. And it's just kind of nice when that's like the main thing powering your board, you know, and it's on the tip. So, you know, if you're gonna ram it one way somehow, it could just smash the motor guard. So having a little bit of something protecting the motors, I just personally like it. Double kingpin trucks, I love that. It's kind of with the carving and that's kind of with all these Evolve clones, but I love the double kingpin trucks. And then also the two extra belts. I think this is kind of standard on all high-end boards, but I like that they sent me extra belts because this was my first belt drive board and I knew some of my other buddies had to replace belts at certain times. So it just kind of gives you a little peace of mind that you could run into a really big problem and you know put a new belt on. You don't have to like, oh, wait for however long it takes to get a new belt coming in. My only mixed aspect with this board was that it had no USB. Um, like I said, this board is extremely sleek and I like how minimalistic it is. So if it was going to sacrifice some of that look and some of that minimalism to put the USB there, I probably wouldn't be going for that. But it is kind of nice having a USB because all you need is a little charger. And if you're ever charging your board, you get the little charger and you charge your remote at the same time. Or if you're out, your remote's gonna die. Say you have like a super lot, like a tons of battery on your board and no charge on your remote. You could just pull over real quick and plug it in. Really like that, but I could, I could do without it. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this board. The cons was, for me, I had really long shipping. Now, I know a lot of people got theirs fast. I think, um, like right now, they're advertising like seven to 10 days. But for me, I think it took like almost two months to get this board. I ordered it on like May 3rd, and then they said that they had a holiday till the 5th. And then they said, oh, we'll ship your board out right away. They didn't ship it to the 20th. And then at the 20th, it was 30 to 35 business days from the 20th. It just took a long, long, long time. And it would have been worth it if I still had the board, but I don't. Another con was that it has not as much concave. Now I was talking to the Eastgate boys on Instagram. He has tons of high-end boards. He really didn't like this. I actually really like concave on boards. Like on my Backfire has concave. I really like it, but for some reason, it didn't bother me that much. But if I had an ability to make it more concave, I probably would. It's hard to really put this against this because of how strong this board is and that it does have carbon fiber, so it's going to be a little bit lighter than if it was a wood deck, but it is really, really heavy. To be honest, I really don't know how they'd make it any lighter and I just love the board anyway, so I really don't care if it's heavy. Then it also had like a five hour charge time, which is really annoying, but like I said, it has such good battery to where it's like, I just don't envision a situation where I would even kill the full battery. And if I did, I'd have plenty of time to pull over and charge it. I do think that's probably needs to be fixed though, a five hour charge. Like I don't see any other companies talking about five hour charge, maybe even four hours. Usually it's like three, three and a half from what I've seen. 
Okay, I did get some minor voltage bursts. I think this is with every Escape, but you know when every once in a while when you're accelerating, it'll accelerate more than it should, you know, and you're like, wow, like I wasn't ready. And then you do the same acceleration and it accelerates nice and slow like usual. You're like, okay, you know, it kind of jumps a little bit. It happens with every board. I will say on my Backfire and this one, about the same, very, 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 it's so rare that it's like, it's not even really too much of an issue. But anyways, guys, that's been my pros and cons. And I was going to finish the video saying that I have been looking at all the East Gates out there. A lot of my friends are into the top East Gates. We're always trying to, you know, see the newest board with the newest specs that covers all the bases. That's not too much money. And I was going to for sure get the, the um, TRX 2.0, 100% guaranteed. But sadly, I don't really don't know what I'm gonna get now because the new TRX is just, you know, maybe I could deal with one of the blows, like, okay, the battery's lower, but I get cloud wheels, okay. Or the battery is the same size and you're gonna give me the street wheels and I'll go buy the cloud wheels, all right, whatever. But the two blows of the smaller battery and then the street wheels, I just can't do it and it's so sad and I loved this board. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I remember the Eastgate boys, <laughs> he got it and he really didn't like it. He did a review on it. Maybe I'll post it down below, but the truck's like twisted for him and all this stuff. He just hated it. And it was just like, man, I don't know if I'm a chump, but I really like that board. Like I don't want any other board. Like I don't want the Hadian. I don't want any of them. I want that TRX 2.0. Maybe I'm crazy, let me know down below, but let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what Eastgate you're using. Let me know what Eastgates you're interested in. There's so many good ones out there. Like, I mean, the Sex Panther looks good. The Black Carve 2 looks good. The new Backfire Hammer looks good. The Meepo Hurricane looks insane, yet to be released. I'm really interested in that one. But anyways, guys, let me know your feedback down below. I'd love to hear it. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.